Well, it's already time to start thinking about the 2024 elections. The season, it is coming. So <laughs> it's the ongoing all the time. We can't <laughs> right. get away from it. It never stops. And who will win Georgia in the race for the presidency? The state is expected to be a pivotal one once again to whomever wins the White House. And this coming weekend, Georgia Republicans are giving a high-profile platform to former President Donald Trump at the GOP convention in Columbus. Our John Shearick is on that story for us tonight. Trump will be there. Kemp will not. The current Georgia governor and the former president who's running for president again represent two conflicting wings of the divided Georgia Republican Party. And this weekend, Georgia Republicans will have MAGA on their minds, not Kemp, at the Georgia GOP's annual state convention in Columbus. Trump and Trump ally Carrie Lake of Arizona, a staunch elections denier, are the convention's two featured speakers. And what this signals is that the Trump wing of the party is ascendant and they are, are the people who are going to be holding key leadership positions in the party for uh, the next few years. Political uh, science is, professor Andra Gillespie of Emory University in Atlanta says Governor Kemp is powerful enough on his own that he can easily skip the Trump-leaning state GOP convention. This past Friday, Kemp even criticized Trump publicly for the first time because Trump had congratulated North Korea's dictator. As for another Trump ally, Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. Some headlines now read, far right turns on MTG. Critics accuse Greene of becoming an establishment Republican, most recently because she joined forces with Republican House Speaker Kevin McCarthy and supported the deficit deal that McCarthy negotiated with President Joe Biden. Gillespie doesn't think Green is in trouble with her Trump base in Georgia yet. People may be mad with her now, um, but the truth is she is one of the most conservative members of the House of Representatives. It would be hard to find somebody who could run to the right of Marjorie Taylor Greene. Green and Trump, as of now, firmly in control of the Georgia GOP. In Atlanta, John Shirek, 11 Alive News. And this weekend, John Shirek will be on the road again. He will travel to Columbus to bring you all of the happenings and the updates from the convention. You can stay updated on 11 Alive on air and online at 11alive.com.